that came up when I had the bike loaded on the carrier was my tail lights are pretty much obscured by the by the wheels of the motorcycle. So I real quick uh, jumped online and got um, ordered some some additional tail light units. Uh, these are um, what do you call them? They're kind of like a contained unit. And they have they're very similar to this. They have backup lights, turn signals, and then running and free plates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into the wires for the existing lights, then we're going to run the wires inside, and then I'm going to mount these new tail lights up in this area here so they're up above on the bike and way more visible. And these are LED lights, and I'm hoping that they're going to be nice and bright. So this should take me a couple of hours. I've got the wire I need. I've got all my electrical connectors. Thank you. 
so I'm going to really look forward to getting to a location or locations where I don't have to have Lefty chained up and that he can roam around on his own because he just constantly wants to be in the mix of what's going on. and then when I go in the truck, he barks, if I go in the house, he barks, very, very frustrating, like, I feel like sometimes I'm just gonna blow up, I love him, and he just wants to be with me, so, price I pay for having that kind of companion, okay. this one's ready to be unmasked, yep, to run back to the store. I realized I don't have any of the plastic wire loom to put over these wires. I forgot. I thought I had some. I actually do have a small amount, but nowhere near what I'm going to need to do both sides of the truck. And I would like to have these wires protected.
Hello. Good morning. Okay, good morning. So yesterday, because I'm totally not a professional, my battery went dead on the camera while I was in the middle of getting these tail lights installed. So I just wanted to show everybody the end result. So they came out just as I thought they looked pretty good. Uh, I think I got the position good. You remember I lifted the bike up to make sure that the tail lights were going to be over top of the bike, which they are. I do want to seal up these bolt holes. I need to get some butyl tape. I've been using like silicone and silicone, silicone, silicone in a caulking gun. But in a case like this, I think the butyl tape, because you can stick it on there and then um, position your, your item. So anyways, the lights got done. It took me uh, a total of eight and a half hours. Oh, there's the tail lights that we painted black. I think they came out really nice. That looks way better than it used to. Much, much better.